It is a good idea to have an understanding when you view a thread page. There are ways to filter the messages so you can only see the unread post. You can also search the thread by entering some keywords to quickly find a post. If you don't understand the structure of the discussion tool in my courses, you should review the tutorial about this subject. Click on the Submission Review tab on the nav bar. Click on Discussions. Click on the name of any topic. And now I'm going to click on the name of a specific thread. And now I'm in the View Thread page. So the View Thread page has a number of things that are useful. First, I can search the View Thread page and type in some keywords to filter the posts. This will look, and then I'm going to hit the Enter key or hit the search icon. This will filter my post so any and it'll look within the text of the post. Go ahead and clear the search. Underneath the title of the topic, the top of the thread, sorry, the title of the the thread, it tells you who created this thread and which student and which student created the thread and when they created it. You have a subscribe or unsub or subscribed link by clicking on this, it allows me to unsubscribe to this particular specific thread or it allows me to subscribe to this specific thread. The reply to the thread button allows you to, to do a top level reply directly to the thread. So if I clicked on this, this would be replying to this specific piece of information, not to any of the individual posts. You have a filter by, so very quickly I can filter by only unread posts, and you know they're unread because of the blue line on the side here, or any flag post if I have flagged the specific thread, and I can just flag a, a specific post. Then you have the show. This, this show drop-down list allows you to quickly sort an entire thread um, by, the number of, by a number of choices. So I can make this po threaded, which is the default. I can do newest first. I can look for author's first name, author's last name. Now keep in mind that whatever your choice is, the next time you come in, it will remember that. Now within each post, there's some other good information that's useful. The name of the student who created the post, the date it was posted will be displayed. If you allow any ratings for that specific post, the ratings will be there and the average rating will show up. And then you have a reply. So the reply link replies directly to this specific post and will be threaded within that post. To navigate back to the topics er page, click on the view topic breadcrumb link.